Hoi everyone, this is Fortnite and today I have the new version of Raspberry Pi OS. So if we go right here, we can see the blog post from Raspberry Pi about this operating system. So the last few Raspberry Pis have been this architecture versus this one or this one. So there are different architectures right here, but basically this version of Raspberry Pi OS only runs on the Pis that have this architecture. So the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is one of those. So it doesn't run on the old Raspberry Pi Zero, but it does on the new one and then the regular Pis right here. So older Pis will be left out in this update. However, Raspberry Pi will still maintain the other version. However, this one does run faster and we will get to that in a minute. I'm not going to compare them side by side, at least for now, but I will just show you a glimpse of the performance you can expect from this operating system. Now, the thing is, if you have an 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi, then you can use an app that will take advantage of all of that. There used to be a limit with the other version. You could have like a bunch of apps and they could all use up the 8 gigabytes. But now you can just have one and it can use a whole bunch of RAM. So that's basically all there is to it as far as this blog post. But what I'm most interested in is the performance. So one thing that I forgot to mention is you probably will get better app support because of the switch. So let's check out the performance right here. So this is basically a fresh boot. I have it all updated. And this is based on Bullseye. So I'm not sure if they're going to make a legacy version, but it sounds like this is based on Bullseye because of the new, you know, the window manager and the wallpaper and the stuff like that, that the other version does not have. So if we open up the Chromium web browser, we can see it opens fairly quickly like that. And then if we go to my channel right there, it's still not the greatest experience, but it, I don't know how that compares to the last one, but it does seem pretty reasonable compared to what it was before. So that's what you can expect from these. And of course, like raspberrypi.com is cached, that may be a little bit faster right there. So say we went to hardware, seems pretty reasonable. And if we open a new tab and go to something else. So let's go to raspberrypi.org because that's their other website. And we can open up some tabs. If we go to task manager, we can see the RAM usage is pretty low. And I do not have the 8 gigabyte Pi either. But these will, you know, if you are doing something like that uses a ton of RAM, like some intensive applications, then these may help you out. But just in general usage, even if you aren't using that much RAM, you still should notice a difference. So let's see if we can find anything else to test. So I'm not sure like if app launching makes a difference. I guess we'll have to see if I do a side by side comparison, which I think would be a good idea. So I don't really have anything intensive installed. I could install like Handbrake or something like that. But I guess that's really all there is to it for now. So this is just kind of an introduction video, but I, I would like to make a comparison. So stay tuned to my channel for that and it, as far as if you should get the new version depends on what you're doing but i think it would be something worth considering although it just came out so it may not be the most stable version as of right now if you are doing a project and you need it to be very stable then i would hold off for now but if you are you know 
just using that as your main desktop computer or something like that, I'd definitely give it a try. Maybe on the second micro SD card. But this is Fortnite Kiwi and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, we will see you next time.